Welcome to this demonstration of mark detection indexing using OMR technology in Capture Pro software. Starting with version 4.5 of Capture Pro software, we've extended our zonal OCR capability to include indexing using mark detection zones. It's perfect for simple single page survey forms or structured documents that may have check mark information on them that has to be captured. So let's start out with a single with a single page survey form and show you with some of the capabilities of Capture Pro software mark detection index. With mark detection indexing, we will assign a filled value to each zone. You can also have an unfilled value if a particular zone is not checked. And you can also group zones together to produce a single index value for that group of zones. In this particular case, I have 30 zones for three possible values uh, that can be checked, or, or, or three possible answers for 10 questions on this survey form. I have grouped for each question, I have grouped the three possible values uh, into a single index field for each question. As you can see here, the filled values are occasionally, frequently, and rarely. And uh, in this particular case, uh, the, the, this person did not answer question number six, and the unfilled value for this was NA for not applicable. So again, here's an example of a, of a fairly simple single page survey form where you can use mark detection indexing to capture the responses to the survey into separate index fields for each question. Now let's uh, scan a structured document that has mark detection information on it. And I'm going to use an example of a health claim form. And, this, and in this example, I'm taking advantage of the multi-stream capability and red dropout capability of the codex scanner to produce a very reliable zonal OCR and mark detection result. So in this example, I've combined capturing zonal OCR information along with checkbox information. In this case, I have two index fields that I've defined using mark detection zones, one for marital status and another for employment status. And there are three checkboxes uh, for each zone. So I have grouped them together to provide a single index value for marital status and employment status. As we navigate to another document, you can see in, in, in this example that None of the checkboxes for the employment status were filled in, so as a result, I've assigned an index field value of unemployed. And then finally, we have a case where more than one checkbox was checked, and as you can see, the index field value has multiple values separated by a comma, employed and part-time student. If we go into job setup, you, you can see how OMR indexing is set up. In this example of my health claim form, you can see I have green zonal OCR zones where I'm, I'm, I'm capturing the, uh, uh, the data within the zone. And I also have mark detection zones in cyan color. And as you can see here, I have these three zones make up a group called employment status as the group name, if zones are assigned to a group, are contained in parentheses. If we take a look at the zone properties, you can see that there's a filled-in value for each zone. We indicate whether or not it is on the front or back of a scan page, whether or not there is, it is a framed zone or an unframed zone. Because I'm using the red dropout capability of the codex scanner, my zones are actually unframed uh, because the form was, was dropped out. And you can also indicate the mark sensitivity, as well as what group this zone belongs to. And inside the group definition, you can define what the 
unfilled value would be if none of the checkboxes in the group have been marked. And that is mark detection indexing in Capture Pro software.